Hey, welcome back, everyone. And my name is Don K. Preston. I am the president of Preterist Research Institute of Ardmore, Oklahoma. Paul said Christ was the first to be raised from the dead, the first fruit out from among the dead ones. Now, clearly, Jesus was not the first to be raised from biological death. But, we are told, Christ was the first person to be raised in a glorified immortal body. Well, that simply will not stand close examination, as I've been sharing with you in this series on the body of Christ. Listen to me very carefully. If it is true that Jesus' post-resurrection, pre-ascension body was not his glorif glorified body, then the traditional views of 1 Corinthians 15 and the resurrection are simply falsified, and that's all there is to it. Because we are told Jesus was raised in a glorified immortal body. He's the first. At the end of time, we will receive our immortal glorified bodies that are just like His. There are so many issues, so many problems with that argument. And again, the assumption is being made with no textual evidence whatsoever. And by the way, I've pointed this out, but let me reiterate this. If you want one of the most extensive discussions on the body of Christ, his post-resurrection, pre-ascension body, get a copy of my book, Like Father, Like Son, on Clouds of Glory. I respond to Murray Harris, and I respond to other commentators who take the positions that I've just shared with you. Uh, so, get a copy of that book. Now, the question is, was Jesus' post-resurrection, pre-ascension body, his glorified body? No. Very simply stated, it was not. I want you to notice John chapter 7, 37 and following. On the last great day of Feast of Tabernacles, Jesus stood up, and by the way, the, the history here of this passage is absolutely in, incredible. But John 7, 37 and following says, On the last day, that, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If anyone thirst, let him come to me and drink. Now watch this. The one who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow living waters. But this he spake concerning the Holy Spirit, whom those believing in him would receive. Now catch the power of this. For the Holy Spirit had not yet been given because, this is it, Christ had not yet been glorified. Okay? Now, Christ's glorification would be when the Holy Spirit was, was poured out. The Holy Spirit would be poured out when Christ was glorified. Well, guess what? After Jesus' resurrection... Jesus told his apostles to go into Jerusalem and to wait there until they received the Holy Spirit. The disciples did not receive the outpouring of the Holy Spirit as promised by Joel, Isaiah 32, etc. They did not receive that until Christ was glorified. Well, what happens? Jesus ascends to the Father, Acts 1. Forty days later, what happens? The apostles receive the outpouring of the Holy Spirit as promised by the Father, as promised in John chapter 7. And they are told Jesus was raised up and seated at the right hand of the Father and he had shed forth the events of that day. What were the events of that day? The outpouring of the Holy Spirit. But the outpouring of the Holy Spirit would only happen when Jesus was glorified. Jesus' glorification did not take place after his resurrection, before his ascension. His ascension and his enthronement was his glorification. His glorification led to the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Folks, he was not glorified 
at the point of his resurrection prior to his ascension. Now, was his resurrection part of the entire complex? Yes. But his technical glorification took place after his ascension, after his enthronement, or at his enthronement, that's when the Spirit was poured out. And when the Spirit was poured out, that was a sure sign, that was the epitome of the sign that Jesus had been glor- was now glorified. And that was not his, the body of the five foot five Jewish man. Glorification after ascension. Glorification not before the ascension. Thus falsifying the idea that Jesus' post-resurrection and pre-ascension body was his glorified body. 